Hi there, and welcome to another episode, number 48, of The Evidence. This is your buddy Dave over here at Mars X3D, and we're going to continue with our stroll through the archives this week and uh, have a look at some, you know, we found a lot of six-sided things on Mars, buildings and blocks and uh, tools and what even look like hex nuts. So we're going to take a look at a pretty good example of one of those today. And then, of course, we maintain that there are ruined buildings all over the surface of Mars. And uh, we have one to look at. Um, you be the judge. There's some pr pretty compelling items about it. And then, remember I told you that uh, look at the horizon to find anomalies? Very often, whatever program, whether it's AI or whether it's a uh, manual observer, when the uh, images are processed, they ignore the horizon. So if you spend a little bit of time uh, out there and you know how to clean it up a little bit, you can find some pretty cool things. And uh, I found what I think are buildings. You be the judge on that too. And then machines. We find corroded machines everywhere. And uh, our last item today is going to be a derelict machine sitting in the middle of nowhere. So uh, strap it on, take it easy, and here we go. You can see from this context view that we're surrounded by blocks scattered everywhere. And, you know, really most of the blocks are anomalous and they're, they're worth a closer study. But that one in the center catches my eye. That looks like it needs a little attention. Now, to me, that's a beautiful six-sided block. And like I mentioned earlier, the hexagon is something we find repeated again and again all over Mars. What's interesting is that the visible sides are perfectly rectangular with clean 90 degree angles and the top and the bottom appear to be not only flat but parallel to one another. What's really interesting to me though are the two perfectly parallel lines carved around the middle. Imagination says this might have been part of a decorative column at one time, until the global cataclysm that just ripped everything apart scattered the debris everywhere across the surface. Now, imagination aside, it would be interesting to know the geology that would form this naturally. We know that basalt may be found in columnar form, which would certainly explain the six-sided shape, but the parallel ends and the parallel lines around the middle are a bit more difficult. Now, if you've been watching these X3D videos for a while, your eye is starting to get practiced, isn't it? I mean, how can you ignore that nice clean rectangle in the upper center of this image? That kind of looks like a ramp, doesn't it? It's got a wedge-shaped rectangle with sharp 90-degree angles on the left side, and the support structure underneath, notice that it's all of uniform thickness. And, you know, to my eye, there appear to be carved figures filling the hollow space between the ramp surface and the support structure. The first thought, of course, is that perhaps they provide weight distribution, but no, nah, not so much. Structural engineering dictates, in, and of course the math is the same everywhere in the universe, it dictates that triangulated struts would be the order of the day, but these look ornamental, showing vaguely anthropomorphic shapes. The lack of detail, both from weathering and, of course, the photographic resolution, makes it pretty difficult to assign definite shapes. That means that likely, whatever this is, it wasn't a load-bearing ramp, but rather a structural element in a building. And what about the ring and other shapes? along the far side of the ramp. Just more weird stuff. Opportunities, nav cams, navigational cameras, shot this great image of, well, it's really pretty much a featureless plane that Oppie was wandering over for the longest time. And a little bit of rolling to it, mostly featureless, but look at that rocky hill nearly a mile away. As we zoom in, we find a cluster of what to my eye looks like symmetrical buildings on top of the hill, and they seem to be clearly reflecting the afternoon sunlight from smooth surfaces. At high magnification, 
we can see that the building on the left has low, smooth, a symmetrical profile with what might be dark windows. The structure to the right is less defined, but still unusual in its color, shape, and location. It's interesting to note that so many of the structures we find are on top of hills, as if there was a need for both surveillance and defense. Now, trust me, lugging construction materials up steep hillsides is definitely not the easiest way to build something, so there's got to be a reason. It may be that Mars is a much more dangerous place than we imagine. You know, if you're interested in doing your own off-world 3D, the nav cams are a great place to start. Black and white, medium resolution images, they come in convenient stereo pairs, which are very easy to align and make into an image that you can use. Anyway, we're looking at a nav cam stereo from Curiosity 636, and we've got something out there in the center that needs a closer look. Now that kind of looks like a gear to me, and you know, those teeth, those notches, they continue all over that piece, and there are even two spheres on top if you look closely. The entire thing seems to be attached to that black rectangular platform to the immediate right, so what is it? Is it a derelict machine? Is it something that's just been covered and uncovered by Martian sandstorms and scoured and rusting and eroding? You know, it might be a mute testament to an industrial culture prior to the global catastrophe that obliterated everything on Mars. Hey, thanks for stopping by today. If you're still seeing two images and not viewing it as one image in 3D, then check the method, the tutorials in the description below. If you've got an anomaly you'd like me to check out, there's an email in the description below. I really appreciate all the things you've sent me. I'm working on them. They're coming. This is your buddy Dave of Mars X3D. Be well.